The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the magnificent Monday, the June 3rd magical Monday edition of today's Trader Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Now let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more importantly, during this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. That's one way to contact us, 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, no problem. We've got you covered. Let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Please, in that subject heading, put radio show question. Of course, in the Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow off 41 points, S&P down 12, NASDAQ 100 off 123, Russell down about two, semis up 11, New York Stock Exchange up 35. Hmm, something to think about. You got the Wilshire off 153, Transport's up 38, NASDAQ Composite off 102, Gold's up $15, Silver's up 18 pennies. That's a little over 1%, 1 percent, one and a quarter percent in the case of Silver. Lightspeed crude up 21 cents, leading the charge to the upside. Marathi Therapeutic. Up 32% or 21 bucks. AutoZone up 13. Mercado Libre about 10. Uh, El Paso Electric up 13% uh, about 8 bucks. The downside, Amazon. And uh, a big weighting inside the NDX 100. It's up 83 bucks, down nearly 5%. Uh, Google is off uh, 77 at 7%. Chipotle is off 17 or about 3 bucks. I guess Apple, I don't guess. I know Apple's holding an event. Tim Cook on the stage as we speak. Uh, Apple is up 80 cents, trading at 175.87. So the question in the den thus far uh, comes from uh, John. John writes in, says, Any, anything timing-wise tell you a short-term low coming soon in the uh, S&P and the NASDAQ, uh, specifically referencing the futures contracts? So, uh, John, to, to answer that question, um, I won't just completely focus right there because you're asking about anything timing-wise. Tell us about a short-term bottom. So the first clue may have been when I said, hmm, something to think about. That something to think about was the New York Stock Exchange, which is trading higher by about 37 points. Now, 37 points to the upside, no big deal out there. However, however, let's go take a look at the New York Stock Exchange. And let's look at a couple of different tools that we can apply to its chart. And then we can go back and take a look at other instances when these patterns were present and what they meant. Okay, so the top panel of the chart is the New York Stock Exchange. We're using all closing prices, so you're going to see all kinds of blue lines on my chart out here. If you take a look at where we're currently at, what the New York Stock Exchange did from its prior swing point, it made a lower low. Now, that unto itself is not a big deal out there, but the big deal would be the market breadth of the New York Stock Exchange. And one of the ways that we take a look at the market breadth of the New York Stock Exchange is to take a look at its advanced decline oscillator. Now, that's the difference of each day's advancing and declining issues, getting to net advancing or net declining issues out there, and then take a look at the difference between its 39 and 19 period, or in this case, day, 
exponential moving average. What you will see when you look at panel number two, the center panel on my chart out here, you will see a higher low. You will see several higher low configurations with those red diagonal lines in the center of the chart matching up with, matching up with lower lows in the New York Stock Exchange, each of which led to a very good rally. Not just like a one-day rally, not just like a little rally, like a viable rally. Hmm, something to think about. Now what we can do is you and I, we can add one additional tool out here that when it's present also signals to you and I about the question, anything giving us a signal of a short-term low coming soon. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it's now well above its 50-day exponential moving average, which is 1586. It's trading at 1923. But what it also has at the moment, it also has a lower high. And in instances where we have lower highs and lower highs in the Spot volatility index match with lower lows price-wise inside the New York Stock Exchange. Those have been indications of a bottom. So when John asked the question, anything timing-wise tell us of a short-term low, what this chart here and these tools spell out for us is the potential. Now, we're not there just yet. We'll go take a look at what needs to occur to be there. But at this stage, as we speak at 1.12 in the afternoon, I do not want you to be surprised if you see a bottom in the stock market today, tomorrow, or Wednesday. In fact, it would be surprising to not see that. Now, I don't want to be held to the actual day out here, but we'll go back and you'll figure out why I say today, tomorrow, or Wednesday. John? This chart here is probably the biggest tool on one page where I could share with you what to anticipate at this stage of the game. Now, all cards are off the table. If the advanced decline uh, oscillator dips, get makes a lower low, be, be, you know, the low that I'm referring to gets back to the trading day of uh, May 13th, the spot volatility index makes a higher high, then all bets would be off. But, but that's not the set of facts that, that you and I are dealing with as we speak right now. And so when we put that together, and you would ask about the ES Mini out here, if we take a look at the ES Mini, so let's, let's make sure we keep this as our frame of mind as to what the markets are communicating to you and I. We forget about tariffs. We forget about news. We forget about just simply how bad things must be out there. And, of course, you know I'm being facetious. Uh, and we just simply trade the chart patterns because what we just looked at here is simply a chart pattern. But the cool thing is you can take this set of tools. You can do this. You can get the advanced client oscillator reading on New York Stock Exchange. You can get the spot volatility index out there. You, you can get that stuff. You can do your own analysis. You don't even have to believe me, even though I put it right here in front of you. Um, so it's worthwhile, I believe, paying attention to. Uh, let's only get married to the chart patterns not to the markets and the news and so forth. Hey, by the way, that ES Mini today is going to be day eight of a TD setup nine count. And what we know is bottoms can form on day eight, nine, or the bar following nine. Sounds to me like today, tomorrow, or Wednesday. And that's where that comes from. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website, you can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, Max writes in and uh, says, uh, Steve, could you look at the USO ETF? That's the ETF that tracks light sweet crude. Looks like it has completed an A to B equals CD to the downside. Time to go along the USO is the question. So if we take a look at the USO ETF out here, let's do it. Let's do it this way. Let me come back to my e-signal charts. Uh, let's put up USO. Let's take a look at the daily time frame out here. And uh, when we take a look at this, Max, it's completed more than... Uh, so here's the A to B equals CD pattern. Uh, this is the pattern that I'm, I would be using out here for, for USO. We're going to go take a look at light sweet crude. But in the case of USO, the A point for my A to B equals CD to the downside would be the trading day of April 23rd. It looks like the lowest low before there's a decent rally is May 7th. So that's going to be my B point. Uh, and then looks like the C point, the high. I won't let me move that uh, while I've got this down. Looks like 1320. Looks like the trading day of uh, May 17th. So what it's actually done thus far is it's made a 1 to uh, 1 1.618 A to B equals CD to the downside. So um, when you say completed A to B equals CD down, I'm not sure. You know, I'm, j I'm just trying to see what what it is that you're doing but that, that way i give you these data points and you can take a look at that a to b equals cd pattern that is out here now i'll pull over this other chart for the uso it doesn't have the a to b equals cd pattern uh here and uh, what you'll see is that today looks like inside uso is going to be day number eight of a td setup nine count day eight can be but it's not a lower low so to speak but it can be a, a bottom what you don't have out here that you really want to see at the completion of a pattern is some type of bullish reversal candle. We don't have that. Now, let's go back and take a look at Lightsweet Crude itself. 
uh, in its chart can look different than uh, what we were just looking at for U.S. So in the case of, doesn't have to, but in the case of light sweet crude, you'll see the A to B equals CD to the downside. We can see that it too, very similar. So it's down around the 1.618 expansion, almost got down this morning to the 1 to 2 level A to B equals CD. But here too, we do not have a uh, bearish, a bullish reversal signal. Here's what the July contract right now looks like for us. And um, and today, clearly here with regard to light sweet crude, the, uh, the potential for it being day eight of that TD setup nine count. So uh, is it time to go long? It just depends on how aggressive you are. Here's what I would share with you, Max. Here's what I would do if you're itching to go long light sweet crude or USO. I would look at the short-term time frame chart. Uh, for light sweet crude, the 30-minute time frame is what I'm going to is what I'm going to refer uh, you to as the short-term time frame. Here, if we take a look at light sweet crude, we know that this morning when the bounce stopped, uh, it did it right on cue, which was that TD setup nine count right at nine o'clock. If you take a look at when light sweet crude actually broke out overnight, it was at five o'clock this morning. So it was really this morning, not overnight. And from five o'clock until nine o'clock on a half-hour basis, each close of those 30-minute bars was above the close of the bar four bars prior to that. Therefore, nine consecutive closes, that's what we've identified. When you get to those nine consecutive closes, you can that's, that's where you can see. That's kind of like the marathon runner. That's like you running some type of race, and whatever that race is, once you get to that uh, end point, you, you may not feel like running another race. You may just be out of flat out out of energy. Now, in the case of light sweet crude, you'll see, now these patterns don't work all the time, but oh boy, they work pretty good. Take a look at the high that occurred out here at four o'clock in the morning back on May the 30th. It was that nine count actually identified a pretty good high down here. Another nine count at 2.30, uh, a little bit lower low after that candle, not unusual. And then just basically a sideways move. That's one of the other potential outcomes of the nine count, just catching its breath in this case here, ready to uh, lead to a uh, move lower. This eight and nine count down here, another similar type situation back around three o'clock in the afternoon, looks like on June the uh, June of June the second. Yeah. Or but you can see just a slight sideways move out here. Um, so what is Max going to do? What get to it already, Steve O. Here's what I'm going to suggest that you do. This green line out here, that is resistance, 55.39. Just as the red line right now is support, that breakout. So the red line is the breakout. The green line is the breakdown. If you see lights, we crude close about 55.39. I know we have many traders of uh, futures inside the American equity futures and so forth. Maria, Peter, Z, what have you. I would say, and Peter wrote in here, and he said, hey, if, uh, if oil is bottom, then the ES mini should follow. So, Peter, I would say to you, uh, if you see light sweet crude close about 55.39, that would be your indication of a shorter-term change in trend, at least on the 30-minute time frame. And, Max, that's what I would suggest uh, for you as well. Otherwise, without a bullish reversal signal on a daily chart, I don't know. That bottom could still come tomorrow or the next year, or not at all. But with the A to B equals CD pattern, you really like to see those bullish reversal signals out there. So I hope that helps you out with regard to USO and light sweet crude, which really is the underlying component of that. So thanks for writing in. Let's go to the next question that came in. This coming in from uh, John. John in Sarasota writes, has KHC. Let's go take a look at KHC. Not familiar with the uh, name off the top of my head. KHC is uh, Kraft Heinz. So Hello? Boy, oh boy. Anyways, John asked a great question. As, uh, as Kraft Heinz finished its downtrend, and is it a time for and is it time for a bottom in Facebook? Okay, so we've got two questions out here. Well, let's take a look at one at a time. So let's go take a look at Kraft Heinz, K-H-C. You, you see how often I look at Kraft Heinz out there? Basically, uh, not at all. Uh, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't. So John asked, uh, now when you take a look at this chart right here, if you're watching this on Tiger TV, you know, what this tells us is prices below the daily, the weekly, and the monthly profiles out there. And, and for you and I, if we take a look at this, um, how do we identify a bottom on this chart? I mean, how really, how, how could we identify the bottom? So the answer is we've got to go to Stevie's other charts that have the other handful of patterns that you and I look at that assist us with that question. So we take a look at John's question. John is asking about uh, the, in the daily time frame. Has the daily time frame bottomed out here? Uh, why isn't there we go? This chart is opening, and voila, 
as if John has a crystal ball out there. Well, now he doesn't have a crystal ball. He's got Stevie's screen. And Stevie's screen says that on Friday, that low completed a TD setup nine count. Now we know looking at 30 minute charts daily, it doesn't matter what time frame chart it is we look at, we know when those patterns are out there to pay attention. It's a spot of possibly a change in trend. Look, John, if you're looking for an early end, price, price was also moving lower due with less route of energy. We don't have the bullish reversal signal there on a daily basis, John. But at this stage here, if you want to take a trade, go for it. Maybe it is bottom. This, if this is going to continue to move higher, the next level you're going to look at for a, a test of resistance is going to be 29, 23, give or take. That's Stevie's red line. Clearing that level then says price could move up to its most recent breakdown area. That's the bar from the trading day of of uh, May 20th. And the high out there in that session, that's that green horizontal line on my screen, is, I don't know what it is. I want to know what it is. I keep pushing the button and nothing is happening. It's approximately, I'll do it this way, around 32, 36, give or take. So it sounds like a pretty decent reward risk. So if you like the TD setup nine count, you have your bottom signal when it comes to Kraft Heinz. Now, John's question may have been for the longer term. And if it was for the longer term, John, here's what you know. The month of May was a TD setup nine count. Could be a more significant bottom in Kraft Heinz. Uh, Mr. Buffett, Jimmy Buffett, too. They might like to know that. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. <laughs>
it's going to go, okay? We good? We good? I hope we're good. Uh, folks, can you hear me in the den? Maybe help out there a little bit. Uh, any any assistance? Just let me know. See if you can see my screen. out here uh, what a bummer there was a question about uh peak d i think had a question let me see if this issue came up now so i know you want to yeah, no, i'm waiting for the chart to populate for uh dyadic international inc pete peak and uh as you can see i've got nothing um out here let me try typing into my other system t y a a this is a real bummer uh, Peak, if you send me an email, I can send you the charts, though. Um, that's the best offer I can make at the moment. So Steve at TFN.com. I just put DYAI in the uh, subject heading. I'll know that it's from you, uh, if you'd like. Um, and I'll have to send you those once once things get up and running. Unfortunately, folks, if I shut things down and try and <laughs> re reload, it'll 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 take 15 minutes for everything. So let's just uh, let's try to muddle through this as much as I possibly can. But obviously, if I've got nothing to be able to share, so there's no other questions that are in. Um, so what are we going to look at? Gold. Let's talk about gold. Yeah, no kidding stuff happens. So let's talk about gold. I showed being up about 18 bucks right now, 13.29. So the question is, I can show you where I believe gold is headed to. Um, uh, gold, if we take it, it's, it, this is this is what I would be looking for here. Uh, if you're long gold, what you're going to want to pay attention to is the price point of 13.40.40. 13.40.40 is where gold last uh, broke to the uh, downside. That's a green horizontal line on my screen. The trading day now, I don't know if it's trading at 1329 or not. I don't know about my data feed right now. But with regard to where gold is likely headed to, it's from the February 25th high out there. Now, if gold can close above that, that'll be a, a real positive out here. But the daily time frame shows us where gold is headed. Remember that level, 1340.40. And the weekly happens to match. It doesn't often happen this way. Uh, but if we take a look at uh, the weekly chart for gold, uh, you're going to see that its breakdown on weekly level was also at 13.40.40. So 13.40.40, about another um, $10, $11 bucks or so from where we're trading is going to be key. If price is closing above that, boy, gold's on a terror to the upside. Uh, and that's what I would be watching uh, if you are uh, long uh, gold out here. Uh, that doesn't mean that gold is not going to take a, a little bit of a, a break here shortly uh, because it very well may be doing that. You can see that we're currently on a 30-minute basis. We're in bar number eight of that TD setup, potential TD setup nine count. Remember, uh, a, a top in these patterns can occur on bars eight, nine, or the bar following. You'll notice off the bottom here, we've seen bar nines form, and then we've seen sideways ish type moves out here we've seen um we've seen four one two three four five of these six of these sets of patterns out here and each i believe have done the same let's take the first one after bar nine a move sideways then a gap to the upside get to nine a little pullback but basically a move sideways you get to bar number nine again uh, just a hiccup uh eight up here on at about two o'clock on a two o'clock a cup on Friday, I'm guessing here gets to uh, bar number eight, a little bit of sideways move. The same thing out here at uh, 22 30 hours, a little bit more of a pullback out there. And uh, so it looks like at between, so it's either going to be two, two thirty, or three inside of gold, where if you get that same type of pattern, expect the sideways to slight, slight move lower inside of, uh, of uh, Goldilocks out there. Hey, uh, Peak, I got good news for you. 
uh, we were patient out here, and uh, I think we don't have population here, but we do have population here. So we got Stevie's other charts, which is really what we wanted anyways, right? So uh, this thing has moved nicely, if I'm assuming. I don't know if the data feed, how good it is, but it's, it looks like it's trading around 548. Does that sound about right to you, Peak, with regard to this equity? Now, what you can see out here is price is actually moving higher doing less relative energy. Now, on a big, wide-ranging bar, uh, I don't, but, but and as long as there's no bullish reversal signal that shows up, you know, it's A-OK. -okay. I don't know where to start doing the wave count, so I'll just start from right here. When you say right here, let's see if I can get the tool. It uh, looks like this bar at about April 18th. Um, that just gets us to B. Let me maybe try to do this the right way. It is the right way. No, this is too hard. Peak, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're, you're, you're the master of the peaks, uh, the uh, of the Chapman wave counts out there. So I'm gonna leave that to you as to where that start was. Uh, your question, I think, was, would you buy now? Was that what it was? Let me see here if I can find it. Where is it? It's back here in the stuff. Uh, you oh, on a daily, you're in D. Okay, that's fine. Um, so your question was. I don't know. Was your question, should you buy it now? I, I can't find it. It's too many. In any event out here, no, I wouldn't buy it now. Um, would I exit from it? I wouldn't exit now. Uh, just be, be aware of this pattern that's out there. Price above the daily profile out here. Um, but looks very, oh, hey, it just populated here. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes good things happen to good people. Man, this has been on a tear out here, that's for sure. Peak. The, uh, I'd stay in it if you're in it. The weekly is also moving higher with less relative energy. Not a problem yet, but that slingshot to the upside can have quite a fall to the downside. I just don't see it just yet. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Thanks. Uh, welcome back, folks. So uh, sorry about the uh, technical issues we've been having uh, during the show. When we began the show. Apple was trading up. I don't recall how much. I don't think it was anything significant. If we take a look at the daily, the weekly, and the monthly uh, set of charts out here, uh, we're going to see uh, an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, to a certain extent, hasn't really been confirmed. What, I mean, what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at the daily time frame chart out here. doesn't mean it won't complete. just means that as the B point was was being passed. That was on the uh, that was a price point of 182.85. The trading day was May 13th. The volume on that session was 57 million shares. Uh, we're well short of 57 million shares, and any day since that we've been below, we did have a gap to the downside on May 23rd. That was 36 million shares. Nonetheless, it's possible, possible that what price is doing is making that A to B equal CD pattern with a price projection, initial price projection of 160, uh, 151.18 would be the second dairy price projection out there for Apple. We can see that the price below the weekly, uh, price is trading within the monthly, the monthly point of control about 169.44. Now that being said, that was the bad news. Let's take a look at the potential good news, if there is good news for Apple, at least with regard to the decline. You'll know if uh, it's gonna head lower, if uh, today's low gets taken out tomorrow because today is the bar following bar number nine with its nine consecutive closes of a close below the bar four bars earlier. And this is where you could also see a turn. Now, Apple's going to be key because of its weighting inside of the NDX 100, uh, as well as a decent weighting inside the uh, Dow out there. So we'll want to watch Apple for signals. Right now, we don't have that signal. But because of that nine-count pattern out there, uh, we'll want to pay close attention to it over the course of the next uh, couple of uh, days out there. Uh, let's see how well this works. HMY is the ticker symbol. That's what Hector is asking about. Hey, this is cool. We've got uh, we've got a system that is uh, cooperating and working. I might be able to turn the video piece of it on out there. Let's not let's not do anything uh, that could upset the apple cart as long as we were talking about apple. So Hector's question was uh, is this a fake breakout? Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's heading back to 141 uh, mark before it hits uh, two bucks. Well, let's go take a look at that. So, is it a is it a fake breakout? Well, it's it's a nice move off of the bottom. We did have a bottom pattern out here for Harmony Gold, but uh, I would suggest that where it's headed to is uh, this gap to the downside, which also began that uh, Tommy DeMarc set up nine count that was from April 12th. And that number is 197. Now you're going to you said two bucks. I'm going to say this set it to 197. You're at 187, another 10 cent higher. Uh, you're thinking 141. Now you know price is above the daily uh, box today. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that was Friday. You know what? Yeah, it was Friday. You know, yeah, today. I apologize. Today. Let me just expand it, and you'll see. So to me, that's a change in trend signal here uh, when you are above the top of a bear structured uh, TAS market profile. If we take a look at that, uh, the top of that box was 180. The center was 175. So above that says, hey, I want higher price. If you take a look at the uh, weekly time frame chart, new profile that formed last week, this says 195. So you got 190-something, 197, I think it was, on my other system. You've got 195 here. And the bottom of the monthly profile is, uh, no, it's the quarterly I was looking at there. I'm not going to talk about the quarterly profile as we speak right now. So, Hector, at this stage here, uh, it looks to me like uh, Harmony will want to continue to move higher. Um, the, the, the real key to, I think, what you're asking in your question, my opinion, uh, because of the directional correlation between gold and the mining equities is more so what happens when gold gets to 1340 or 1328. If it clears that, uh, then you should see the mining equities continue, in fact, perhaps even pick up some steam. Uh, not that it hasn't had steam in the past uh, three trading sessions, but really pick up some steam. So I think, Hector, uh, that's how I would put it together out there. 
Uh, you were saying uh, get back to 141. Right now, I don't really have that in the cards at this stage. I don't have any kind of topping signal. So I hope that helps you out with regard to uh, Harmony Gold, ticker symbol there, H-M-Y. Okay, uh, what else do we want to uh, look at out here? Um, it's really a good question. What do we want to look at out here? Uh, oh, some fairly decent gyrations in the market, huh? Um, just just during this last hour. We've looked at the ES. We looked at the and bonds. You want me to look at bonds? Is that is that what you're asking me? Yeah, okay. So uh, let's take a look at bonds. What does Stevie see for bonds out here? What do the charts say? Maria, if we take a look at the daily time frame, is that the daily that you're that you're asking about? If we look at the daily time frame, uh, here we can see an A to B equals CD to the upside. We can see a 1 to 1 1.272 has already been uh, hit. That was earlier today. Uh, we can also see that today's bar is bar number 8 or should be bar number 8. We know that bonds can top with bar number 8, 9, or 10, the bar after bar number nine uh, there's the um, and, but we don't have that just yet we don't have a so we'll look at the daily and let's go look at a 30 minute uh, time frame chart just to have some intraday type parameters so do I see anything that suggests that price stops here right now we've got the potential topping signal uh, very much like we looked at a couple of the other equity futures contracts out there. Um, so you've got that in play. Right now, I'm saying it's got the potential, but I see higher price based upon the A to B equals CD pattern uh, that is in play as we speak right now. Um, let's go look at a short-term time frame. Did that chart help you out? Okay. Going to give you a decent feel for what's going on. Let's take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart for you. Because uh, maybe uh, are you looking for a top? Is if you're looking for a top, then let's look at a 30-minute chart. A 30-minute chart is simply to say, uh, yes, where, where, where does where does Treasury bonds have to close below your short? Okay, so you're short at this stage here. So then this 30-minute chart is really going to be important and helpful to you, or I believe that it should be. And that's this: um, if you take a look at what you're looking for, you're looking for Treasury bonds overnight perhaps, to be able to close below this support line. Now, I don't have another support line. There could be another TD setup nine count forming. But right here, here's the first one. And the low of that count took place on bar number two. That was at 130, and that was on, on May 31st. That was Friday. Come on. And the price point there, I'd write this down, is 153.31.30 seconds out there. So that's the price. Now, if there's another TD setup that is count that is uh, starting out here, then it's going to be this 1230 bar that you'd. And I don't know if it is or it isn't. So I'm giving you some real advanced potential information out here. 154 uh, and 24 30 seconds would which would be what you would be looking at. But right now you got to go with the red line that's out there, the first level, in order for you to be right. I don't see a topping signal on a 30 minute time frame chart. Uh, I, I mean, I don't. When I say I don't see that. Certainly, I do see an A to B equals CD to the upside, um, and that was a bearish reversal candle right here at 5 o'clock this morning. So I do see that. Um, uh, so there is a topping signal and pattern in a 30-minute time frame. You just need to see support broken. Uh, Maria, I know you can see my charts while we are on break, and what I'll do here because we're about to go to break is I will put up the uh, uh, Treasury bond along with the intraday time frame profiles out there for you. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. I'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. 
Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002 when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011 and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we did take a look at the Russell 2000. We're going to do that. I want you to, I think it's a, I think it is a, a um, I think the equity futures contract is something to be observing, be observant of. How about that? That sounds a little bit better. Here's the daily time frame. I'll explain the reasons why. Um, one of the things that we know is that, well, first, the, the red horizontal line on my screen out here is a support level. Uh, that support level is, uh, well, it's, it's defined by that nine count. So price uh, has hit that, hit that level on uh, Friday. Um, and uh, we can see that, uh, so if the Russell 2000 does not make a lower low tomorrow, maybe I said this already, if I did, I apologize, but if I didn't, then I'm glad I'm saying it. This is why, this is what suggests to me that we could see that the bottom, if there is a bottom, could be today, because this would be the bar following bar number nine. It's the first one to get there. It's right at a support level out here. Um, and so I would, well, how are we going to know if this is, in fact, the case? Well, at the end of the day, if you get a bullish reversal candle, that would be one way. We don't have that just yet. Um, how else will we know today, overnight, and so forth? I'd watch the, and, and why might that be a bottom out here? Uh, good question. Let me switch to a different uh, set of charts here for the next minute. Uh, inside the Russell 2000, so I'm watching at the 30-minute time frame chart. What it did this morning was it breached just just for a short period of time, it breached resistance. So it's 30-minute level, that green horizontal line, where the breakdown actually began. It broke above that, closed above it, uh, right at about 11 o'clock this morning. Sold off, came down to support. So watch that level. Now, the level, by the way, the price point out there is around 1475.50. I'm going to say what price really needs to do is if it gets above 1478.30, uh, then it looks like the 30 minute chart will have given us a signal of that short term bottom, uh, at least inside the Russell 2000 out there. If you look at the five hour time frame chart, here's what we can see. Now, this too may have bottomed with a Tommy DeMarc set up nine count pattern. 
Folks, thanks so much for being here. Sorry for a few of those technical delays, but there's no technical delay because our technician, David White, our favorite polar bear, I believe he's up next. So have a great day. Thanks for being here. We'll see you on Big Tuesday. Take care.